Hi. Today I have a couple of subjects that may be of interest to you. German magazine Der Spiegel claims that Austria is the cradle of monsters created to scare little children around Christmas time into compliance. I wouldn't be too sure that Krampus, as the monster is called, does not do more. Let's say, cause severe psychological trauma to the children. Anyway, we have our own monster to deal with. Bail out, as the media insists of calling it. Listening to Congress, I can't help but getting a vision that of a musical savant who repeats the same theme in ever new variations over and over again. Let me give you a variation on my theme. According to the Washington Post, the country has lost 1,550,000 jobs in the past six months alone. The total benefits per unemployed was $3,118, though I need to update that number as it may be outdated and could be much higher than that. 1,550,000 times $3,118 amounts to over $4,833,000,000 in cash outlays that taxpayers have to pay. I don't think I have to go any further. I know you got the message. Congress has done little more but blubber about President-elect Obama's demand that another economic stimulus package be enacted quickly. Der Spiegel reports about the German variation of a stimulus package, albeit with a twist. The Germans call it consumer doping. The Germans discuss a stimulus package that would provide 500 euros per adult, that is somewhere over $700, I believe. The twist is that instead of checks, vouchers would be issued, and that is where stiff opposition raises its voice. The voucher would be activated if the consumer pays a minimum of 200 euros out of his own pockets. In other words, in order to get the full benefit, the consumer must make a purchase of 700 euros. The idea behind it is to avoid consumers paying off debt rather than invigorating the economy by making new purchases. Back to our problems. Republicans seem to be against what unfortunately has been labeled bailouts. Richard Shelby of Alabama is the poster child for failed Republican economics. We already discussed the economic damage layoffs and unemployment have on the state of the economy and the cost to taxpayers, the loss in purchasing power. and the cash outlay paid for by taxpayers via unemployment benefits, billions of dollars. Indeed, there are several black holes in the Republican economic theory. One Republican dogma was presented over and again during the campaign and goes like this. We need to give tax breaks to corporations though they can hire more people, preached by Larry Kudloff et al. over and again. Republicans follow that theory every time they are in office and every time the deficit goes through the roof. Instead, Big Oil used their record level profits at times 30 billion to buy back their shares.
Did their record profits contribute to more employment? Of course not. Did it contribute to more drilling on the 65 million acres of land leased to them for that purpose? Nope. So what exactly was the result of such record profits and the tax credits corporations got? You know already, record unemployment. Senator Shelby's obliviousness to the plight of the people who elected him, where's Alabama anyway, must be somewhere on Orion's belt, will lead to 145 billion loss in purchasing power and nearly 9 billion in added costs cash outlays to taxpayers once the GMs close their shop and put two and a half million people on the street. Stephen Hawking came up with the Big Bang Theory. Nothing existed before the big explosion that came out of the black hole. I revere Stephen Hawking dearly, but if nothing existed before the Big Bang, where was the black hole out of which the Big Bang came? Sounds to me like Republican economics. Indeed, the match of Republicans in office with budget deficits and unemployment follows the rules of Bayes' theorem to the dot on the I. So I admit there is no I in base rule. See you tomorrow.